Generic greetings and welcome to Little Big Workshop. This is an open-ended sandbox game where you're tasked with building and managing a workshop. However, judging by the way that the operator is using that table saw, I'm not convinced that health and safety is a top priority around these parts. <laughs> Today's beverage is a lovely cup of tea. So this is a game I've played for, mm, I don't know, around about two hours now, so certainly a first impressions only, and that's amplified by the fact that it is an open-ended sort of sandbox type of arrangement rather than a story or mission-based game. So you are introduced to mechanics a little bit more organically than perhaps you would have otherwise have been if it was a more... Um, a more scenario or objective based uh, game so there's a lot of mechanics and systems and mini games that I haven't seen so this is a first impressions only not any sort of full review so please bear that in mind but hopefully the basics are there for you to uh, check it out yourself if you uh, do so desire and uh, hopefully get the moment to moment down so without any further ado that's a that, that is a bin with with big teeth, isn't it? So either a mimic or the luggage from Discworld. I'm going to go with the latter because I much prefer that. Anyway, let's go to continue and I will show you the very small and indeed quaint workshop that I have got going here. And please bear in mind that this is in a sort of varying state of flux, which is my diplomatic way of saying it isn't finished yet. Uh, so let's just have a quick rundown of the main playfield and UI. First things first, you can see it looks very, very cute. Very nice aesthetic. And I really like the sort of hobbyist motif that they've got going around here. All of these of modeling and hobby supplies you've got the uh models in very state of paint and assembly you've got paints and paint brushes and things like staplers you can interact with and sort of craft knives and like a sort of house over there and uh, multiple beverages strewn around the place inks and scissors and dice that apparently all roll the same thing so they are rigged and uh, there you go and also a chocolate bar that is completely uh, refillable and is endless so probably a wonka design and although you may like that your waistline certainly won't anyway back to our lovely little quaint uh, workshop here so we have a sort of main workshop area on the left we have a well it was a storage area but I've got a lot more machinery in there and then finally sort of recreational area down here because your operators do need to uh, rest and there's a sort of deco system that I'll uh, touch on later on so run down the UI left hand side we've got our market we can see the challenges and basic items that we have so you can see like the overall price and demand fluctuations and attributes and things like that we have our planning mode which I'm going to go through in a little bit more detail later on because this is a big part of the game so essentially you can select things like a pitchfork and it shows you what uh, materials are required and what processes I have to go through so you bring in some wood straight coat uh, you get the wooden rod out of that and then you have to sort of lay it down to a dowel and then you assemble it and blah blah you get the pitchfork it has a certain level of uh, durability and style requirements and you can see things like overall uh, material costs and salaries and your overall profit and uh, things like that I said touch on that later on as we uh, build that for real we've got building options on the left so you got your basic stuff your machinery options for break rooms and decorations which is sorely lacking in this place you've got zoning which I have a couple of zones like storage and building zones you can well, remodel the building and houses so you can add more stuff within this plot you can buy more plots but that is based on research you've got also options for rolling the dice apparently uh we've got uh, things like our overall milestones which you complete that and you rank up and get more access to more things you got a research tree and such you do get a lot of pop-ups as well which i do find quite helpful and uh, i must confess the uh, the help in game does seem to be enough for pretty much what you need to know i've not had any problems really understanding anything when it introduces something and says yeah just check up in there and you do and there you go seems to be all there you've got your workers which do have uh at this uh, rating, you've got like a, a rank where we can give them specialities, but I don't have any specialities because that is based on the research tree, which I've uh, not got enough points in there. We've got our uh, client relations, so Crazy Steve Enterprises and definitely not IKEA. We've also got uh, rankings, which I really, really like. So, for example, Dog Incorporated, the manufacturer of industrial trucks. So, obviously Cat, but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Parasol, which is Umbrella. Uh, where's some of the good ones there? Uh, shiny Plastics, uh, Wooden Diamonds, Mega Hard, a small tech company specialising in data analysis, and uh, Le Geek Boutique, which I think is a fantastic name. You can see the net worth and revenue and profit and such. And uh, overall economy, which we've been doing quite well. So we currently have... Um 20,000 plus generic units of currency. We also have time controls as well. But the main thing, the moment to moment, is building stuff. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to check over on the market and see what we want to make. In fact, it's opened up on this square table, 8x8. Eight eight, and because of the price and overall... 
I think, yeah, because of the price, we're probably going to make one of them. Actually, you know what I'm going to make instead? I'm going to make this toy food because uh, it was pretty much uh, unsellable previously, but now the demand is going up and the price is sort of... Uh, tailing off so probably a good time to make that shows you what you need to go through that so mass production small project size and plastic so we're going to say plan product so this is where we need to select things so these are the different things that we need to make so we need to make a plastic cup a plastic burger and some plastic fries and it goes through varying processes so we've got bringing the material we have to then uh, injection mold that we then get that milkshake unpainted we then have to paint it and then we get a painted milkshake and then we assemble it to make the toy food so the main thing to take away really is what's shown on the right hand side which is your durability and your style rating and this is the minimum level you must achieve you can completely blow through that and go higher, but essentially, even though the craftsmanship and uh, whatnot might be better, it doesn't matter. The minimum at this stage is all we're really caring about. So we need to start from the beginning, because that's generally where you start, and you bring in some materials. So we can bring in some, I don't know, some blue plastic. Costs 12, and it has a base durability and style of 1. And you can see that we'll bring that in. It then goes through the injection process. So it comes in at a 1-1 one, one rating. Injection processes brings it up to a, well, plus 2, plus 2. So that obviously brings you a 3-3 three, three cup. You then paint it, which gives you somehow durability, but mainly style to bring that there and then you put it together boom if you've got your food so we're going to see on each one of these the blue plastic obviously you can see as well that when we bring stuff in it it is actually making the stuff out of that color so you've got a blue pellets you make blue burgers which are not very appetizing but you then paint it so you know that's okay and then we'll say right link workstations so we have workstations which are conveniently highlighted here so that's one of the workstations there that can do it however these workstations are linked to a billboard which essentially farms the jobs out to any connected um, stations so we're going to say that billboard we're going to do the same for these ones and then the same for that one there and there you go so that's now set so instead of having it specific to one machine and bear in mind that you can shift the jobs between the machines once you're starting it's just a little bit more of a micromanagement thing you're best off probably doing using the billboard stuff. Uh, right, so we need to also paint it. I only have one painting station in here, so we will link that up there. So we already have a bit of a bottleneck in the form of that painting station. Then finally, we're going to say link the assembly to that billboard there. And you notice that there's also a storage area there, which is linked to that, but I'll cover that later on. So that's fine. Uh, we can set the amount that we want. So I believe it said, it, it's, I think it said a total of 15 are required. If we go over that, it will shout at us. So 15 up to 16, yes. Yes, the plan will produce more items that the market is currently available uh, or required to buy. I'm going to reduce that down. Doesn't mean that you can't make more and keep it in storage to sell later on, but I think we're just going to leave it for now. We'll keep on the 15 there. We could create in batches, which makes it in batches of five. I think we're just going to leave it to organically build however it decides to do it. We can see that we are dead on the money with both of the durability as well as the style. Overall profit would be around about the 6,000 mark, and we will execute that. So we have to spend a bit of money first. You can see all the jobs have been assigned to these things here. And what will happen is we've got this nice little toy truck that's going to come along and back up. As I said, I really like the uh, sort of toy, the toy box type uh, modeler look that they've got going here. <laughs> so what's going to happen is they're going to bring in all of our resources, they're going to place it there, and you can see already that these people are working here. Now this is a bit of a problem because if we go over to one of the overlays, which is the room effect lens, we can see that this room here has a noise rating of 29. Noise doesn't specifically mean like, you know, audible noise, just general busyness and... Um, negative karma um and our comfort level which is increased by things like plants and decor items increase that up so current working in there you get mood minus 29 so after working in there for a while they're very sick of it they then want to go in here which is as you can see very very positive so you pr pretty much want to try and balance out as best you can your deco items to uh, machinery and uh, workshop items however I found that unless you really want to put a lathe in the middle of a jungle it doesn't really work out so well but anyway I haven't yet found the right balance so that is now cracking on that's quite good you also got another overlay which is um, sort of your obstruction uh, lens so it's like shows you how much obstruction there is so going through here you walk quite slow and you also notice that they are cracking on there um, I can spin the camera around with the middle mouse you also notice now dark as well there is a day night cycle I don't believe it has any mechanical effect um, could be wrong about that but i've not i don't know if uh, it really does much there you can see they're jumping on that and uh 
<laughs> Don't know if they're injection molding, yeah, I think so. And they are making some nice blue fries, which is unappetizing, but uh, yeah, eventually that will be painted. So while they're cracking on with that, we should probably look at start starting to produce some other things because at the bottom here you can see we have two idle operators and three idle workstations. So I'm going to go over to our market and I think we're going to try and make a square table 8x8 eight eight there because the supply and demand is quite high. Uh, sorry, the uh, demand is quite high and the... Um, the cost is quite, or the price per unit is quite high, so that's good for us. 40 units, so we're probably going to try and produce all 40. So, plan the product. Right, at the moment, it shows on the right that we've currently got 8 durability and 9 style, and the target is the same amount, but we have a problem. You can see that these are flashing yellow to denote that we need to select the right piece of machinery. So, let's uh, link that one there to that one to assemble it. That's fine. This, however, is red, and that means that we don't have the workstation, but it handily op it gives us the option to place the workstation. Now, I don't really know where I can place it. I'm thinking that perhaps... Ooh, that's the wrong button. Uh, let me go back over to that one there. Uh, plan product, uh, workstation. So, could put it there. I'm probably going to place it in... Hmm. Probably going to place it in there for now, because, quite frankly... There's no really, there's no real other place to put it. I am going to expand the building, by the way. I, that was one of my original intentions in this video, so I'll do that later on. But we'll put it there for now. Um, so while that's cracking on, we can go back to this one, and luckily we can then say assign that one there, even though it's not built because it's planned. At least we can still assign it. So little touches like that are uh, quite good. And just nice quality of life things. So we've selected the foundry. Uh, what are we bring in, we're bringing in the uh, air in it. We've also got what's that? Robust it, fair enough, different uh, metal. We cast that, we get the uh, metal rods, we then advance layer that down to the leg. If we wanted to change that, we could say, right, actually we're going to use, you know, maybe that leg there and such. But if we change that one, it already alters this so it can never be correct unless we alter that to say hardwood, in which case it probably could be. Um, and there you go, yes, we can actually produce it like that. It, however, goes through the same sort of processes and probably wouldn't take... I don't think it's any quicker. It's four hours for that process of um, jigsaw cutting it. It looks better. I do like the the actual look of it. But you notice that these changes are not just uh, superficial. They do actually change the thing that you uh, create, and it does look different. Uh, but we massively over the durability. So we are going to go back to that ideal one there. Actually, I don't mind the the, the rounded legs there, but I, I think I prefer the uh, more angled ones. Uh, but yeah, we'll select the raw material, and that's better for us, and the profit's pretty good. So it does say 40 uh, that we can sell to them. I'm going to try and make all 40, because why not? And we will batch do it. So batching allows completing products five at a time. So hopefully it'll be okay. And then we will execute that. We can't execute it because... We don't have enough money to buy the raw materials, so we'll produce 20. Actually, no, sorry. No, we do. We do. I just haven't selected that one. My mistake. That's going to put us on quite low money. Oh, no. Two grand. That's okay. So what will happen is the worker will uh, bring, or the delivery driver will bring that in. They'll drop that down there, and luckily, it seems to be the priority is to build the machinery that you've asked for before continuing on with other things. So that's now set up. I am going to right-click on this zone here, and I'm going to reduce that storage zone to there, because otherwise there'll be things all over the place. So quite easy to uh, change all that, which is pretty good. Yeah, that dice is pretty good, that one, that uh, one that real six. Don't think Casino would be appreciative of that, though. Uh, instruction causes workers to walk slower in the workshop. Yes, it does. And a trucker is stressed. Ah, the trucker was stressed because they were waiting for stuff to be moved. You notice that because I reduced the storage, uh, they couldn't place other stuff. But now this has been moved, you notice that things are then being brought over here because this is where we have, what's it called, a workshop input zone. That is tied to these, so if any of these uh, these pieces of machinery or workstations require resources, it's going to be stored there as a priority, so that's pretty good. Anyway, we'll crack on with that. 29% practically for the toy food. Obviously, the bottleneck is on the painting because we are producing... Um, we have to paint all of the food, and each, each one requires three, uh, three bits of painting. You know, each, uh, was it, three 
He has three items each require painting, but we are producing two at a time there. So yeah, got a bottleneck there. And ah, we've also got some arcing and sparking on this workbench. Now this has, well, every workbench and item has, if you right click on it, a durability. If it goes below here, it needs repairing efficiency is down to 75%. Goes past the red, then I'm guessing all kinds of bad are oh, down to 10%. We're going to set up a, a repair order on that one and it'll repair that instead. Um... I'll be honest, I don't like durability in pretty much any form. Uh, I find it just to be a tedious mechanic that doesn't really add anything to the game, so I could have happily done without that, but anyway, you, you literally click the button and they go, they go and repair it. You see what I mean? It's just more micromanagement for the sake of it, my, uh, what I feel. But anyway, it's uh, it's got repaired, so that's fine. So, uh, we're on nearly 44%, oh, we're on 45% for the Thai food, and that's good. You can see they're bringing all the resources into here, they're carrying it, and this is going to get filled up eventually, so, yeah, hopefully they are, yeah, yeah, they are now actually going ahead and working on this. You can see they are sawing and hammering and turning these into planks, which is good, and you can see because they're walking across that, although they can walk across it, it's probably not comfortable, and they are quite uh, slow in uh, in doing so, but we are now producing these square tables. We are going to try and produce it in batches of five So they'll use them tables twice go over the other side twice, etc You can see it does also say that we now have idle workstations. We have done all of the plastic products. That's fine So we could if we want we could Crack on and make some more stuff, but the problem with that is we don't have anyone that's free because we've got two people working here uh, people carrying stuff back and forward and People working over there. So we haven't got any anyone else. We could hire another worker. You know, have maximum ten workers. I'm going to hire another another mover and another worker. So we'll recruit those because what I want to do is go to market. Oh, we have a challenge here. What's this? Uh, we can create. Uh, my friend, this is going amazing. Current value of kitty litter shares. <laughs> Investing in dollar horses right now would be stupendous. I think fifteen would be perfect. It's not bad. Uh, that's a simple chair. We can't really set any of that going because we're using the other stuff. Let me set that workbench to repair. You can set priorities on these, by the way. Also, split the amount of jobs that are uh, going to be undertaken on this one and move it to different workbenches. But you don't really need to do that if you've got it farmed out via the billboards anyway. So it's not really too much of a problem there. So, that's underway. If I go over to the market and basic, you can see we've got these... Ah, uh, oh, right, no, that's a bit of a problem. You can see we've got this sandbox kit, so if we plan that product, it's all just... It's all just injection and then assembly. So we could do that. That would probably work out because these machines are completely free. But I think we will leave it for now. We're going to try and get this toy food and the tables done. And once that's done, we will then expand the workshop somewhat. In terms of our objectives, if we go to milestones and such, uh, deliver more than 50 medium products, earn more than 75,000 on the market deliveries, gain a reputation of at least rank 3 with one client, which I think the highest is 2.5 at the moment. Let me check uh, client relations. So, uh, Swakia is currently on 1.5, whereas Crazy Steve Enterprise is 2 and a third, I guess, something like that. So there you are. Uh, you can see all of the burgers being placed in there and all of the other items. Uh, once this is full, it will move it to there instead. Uh, once everything else is full, then, well, you do have some problems. But you notice that we're now going ahead and we are assembling this uh, food here. So there we go. That toy food is going over there. The Yeah, it's, it's a bit worrying, actually, when you read the little blurb. A toy kit of food made from less toxic plastic. Not non-toxic. Less toxic. Brilliant. <laughs> so, we have almost made this Thai food. I think we're really on the home stretch now. We're still painting it up, but we should be very close to getting that sorted. Once we're done, we might go ahead and expand the workshop. And we need to look at basically the medium stuff. So, is that a catapult? Yes, that is a catapult. Um, okay, you can create catapults. Catapult. Do yourself for building a two-to-one scale catapult from the Junior Ballistics line of products. <laughs> and, yeah. You can see there is quite a bit of assembly involved in that one. Hmm. It is possible to link multiple operations of the same type in one, uh, in one go. How? Possible to link multiple nodes... Uh, 
Simultaneously in the workstation in factory, simply select all operations you wish to link to the workstation, right click on the operation node, select the link and do that that way. Oh, fair enough, sir. So you can select multiple ones and say, right, all that one there for the straight cuts and do the same thing there, jigsaw cut. Yeah, so you can do that, for example, and it selects them all. Fairly cool. Anyway, we're not going to produce uh, any of those. We're just going to expand the workshop a little bit and almost finish for the Thai food. Once we've done that, we'll have a decent amount of money. Well, a decent uh, amount of uh, a decent amount, so we can not go bankrupt while you build over here. If you go bankrupt, if you go under zero, essentially, you have a sort of grace period. And if you go under, then five grand. If you're negative five grand, it's game over. So we can open the market now, and we can go ahead and we can sell that, and we'll say, uh, yeah. Mm. Open market, deliver, 15, and there we go. What will happen is we'll gain a little boost in our ranking, so our factory level has gone up, and that will come down, and we have options for our research. So we could, for example, go for wood production. Uh, unlock the ability to upgrade your experience operators to wood specialists. Specialists are much more efficient in a specific field, but also more expensive and require a high level of comfort. So we'll say that, and if we wanted to, we could say, right, well, Oliver... You know, wood specialist, same as Jessica. And you can see that they do change the aesthetic of them. There's changes, they've got these like uh, helmets on them. Apparently, they went face down there, and I've not yet stood up. Come on. Please, please don't lie face down on a filthy workshop floor. That could be a problem. Anyway, we've got the delivery truck here. Uh, it's come along. We are exporting all of this stuff, and that is almost en route. And there we go. We now got plus eight grand. Oh, you can see that they have. They've actually fallen on the floor. If they have their, uh, essentially their, um, their tightness goes to zero, they do just fall on the floor and recover on the floor. And I think it's because I set up, I set up the, uh, I set their specialization, which like lowers their threshold, I think. Anyway, let's go over to our, uh, do you want to set up? Do I want to upgrade the wood specialist? No, I don't think so. The workers collapse from exhaustion. You prevent this by making sure there are always recovery points available in the break room. Well, we do. It's just because I clicked on it, it reduced it. Anyway, so let's go over to construction tool, and we want to build around here. So I'm going to expand this as big as it can get, really. Probably there would be sufficient. Uh, we will place a door in here and order it. And order. And what we'll do is once this is built, we'll delete this wall. Probably. Probably. But this is going to be our new room for... Well, I don't know what it's going to be. It could be for anything. I'm probably going to move some of this machinery over there. You can see that we have another truck come along. And loads of uh, builders will come out and start to assemble this. They will put in the door and walls first. And then they'll put in the base foundation at the bottom. So if I just speed up to max speed. You see them cracking on. And yeah, there you go. So they're placing in the concrete floor. Luckily, it is the right size. I'm going to go ahead and bulldozer that wall. And that'll do that. And you can see they've opened that wall up. And there we go. They're finished. And they're gone. That's it. So, we can now start moving these things around. And both of, the, both of these do require some uh, repairing. As I said, durability stuff, don't like. Don't see any need for it. Oh, activate, activate overdrive mode, making the workstation work 50% faster, but uh, double strain. Hmm. There you go. So, uh, do we want to move these things around here? I think we sort of do. So, I'll say that one, uh, move, and I'll place it in there. Let's confirm that. That one will move. Oh! Move. And I think it automatically snaps to the wall there so that's ordered to be moved there we then probably want to place some more trees and plants to make it look a little bit better i think this storage can be expanded a little bit further along as well this painting station i'm going to move to that side because why not and max speed that out that's in that corner that's in that corner and so far we've only produced a total of two out of the 40 <laughs> but it's on 30% so a lot of the parts have been produced which is good 
Are they going to move these over? Doesn't look like it. I have ordered the movement of it, but they just haven't shifted it for some reason. I do not know why. Um, I'm going to also move this forge. This area here is just far too cramped for all of that. So I moved forge to... Well, I don't know where to place it, but maybe here is not a, a bad place. For now. There we go. We'll move that. Ah, looks like that's been shifted as well, which is good. And it means that they'll be able to walk better around here as well. Tempted to move these as well, but I think for now that's probably okay. Uh, worker has collapsed for exhaustion again. Yeah, they have. Uh, okay, we probably need to increase the deco on here. Let's go and check out some of the deco items. We've got flower box, we've got a water cooler. Oh yeah, water cooler would be pretty good. Uh, we'll place a water cooler in there. And that's going to be plus 30. What else have we got? A standing fan. Which gives a nice workstation bonus. Place one in there. I don't know if placing multiple the same type gives you the benefits of them. I don't... I assume it doesn't. Let me just order those anyway. Doesn't say it is. Okay. Then that. I don't know. Might do. It might do. Plus 13. Right. It halves. Every time you place one, it halves by the look of it. Right. Understandable, I guess. Uh, can we place a plant in that corner? We can't place a plant in that corner just because of where the door is. I'm tempted to just get rid of that door, to be honest. And redo the whole thing. Anyway, we'll order those. And we'll see if that increases the decor somewhat. It does increase the decor. And hopefully, because of that now, these people won't be falling over all of the, <laughs> all of the time. So, in terms of uh, research points, I currently haven't got any, which is a shame. You can see that we do have these uh, locked. You have to get a silver milestone. That would be... Uh, what I'm working on now is silver. And then it goes to, I'm guessing, gold and then platinum. Tutorial, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. I'm guessing something like that. Or diamond. So, we've got that there, going okay, that's alright there. Uh, we've still got three idle workstations, but at least these are working alright. I want to move these... Uh, I want to move these billboards. That's a link tool rather than moving. You can see you can link uh, multiple things to it, but you can't have different things there. So, these two woodworking stations are linked to that, but you can't link, say, like a, a refiner or anything like that. So, speed out, max speed, get this uh, cracking on, building stuff. These will hopefully eventually stand up. <laughs> and I'm hoping also that because of how we've set this up, it's mood minus 20, so it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's also not fantastic either. But hopefully they'll go back and recharge the batteries when they're over there. What's that say? No storage available for a square table. Oh, right, because of that. Right, what we'll have to do then is we'll have to shift these machines. So can I select all of these machines? I sadly cannot. So I'm going to move that machine over here. I tend to, uh, instead of pressing R, I, uh, I'm in the habit, sadly, of pressing the middle mouse to rotate it. Um, I can go in there. Can go in there. That can go in. I tend to place it just opposite the machine. And these ones will have to move as well. Move to say there. And move to say there. Yeah. And then I'll expand that. Also means that this place is now a big star room. And can we just place it along here? We can, but we can't place it there, which is a shame. I'll place it there and they'll shift it over. Also need to repair that. Because the forge is arcing and sparking, which is uh, unless it's an arc furnace, something you don't want. Move that. 
Oh, we can't place it there because of those. Ah, right, because of those tables, we can't shift it, which is not great. Oh, have they just fallen down? <sighs> Brilliant. <laughs> Let's place some more deco items in there. Um, water cooler tends to be one of the buildings of choice. I'm going to get rid of that plant because it's currently just terrible sell. But we'll place some more deco items in there. Uh, a palm tree. Yes, I'm sure a palm tree would work out quite well. Uh, what else do we want? At least you can place these items and it will full flower bed in the middle. You can place the items like so and um, it'll order them all at once, which is good. So that's actually a positive mood uh, in that room now, which is excellent. Something I didn't expect. Rats. Oh, hang on, wait. Right, so a pack of smelly but cute rodents uh, have invaded your factory. Catch them. So we now have a mini game where <laughs> we'll place down this cannon. All right. So, uh, missed it. Got one. Got one. That's not catching. That's blowing them into smithereens. And the other one is not moving. There it is. Get it, get it. Yes. And there we go. You did it. Cool. So you get little mini games. There you go. Um, lightweight can the fire's tiny bombs filled with sleeping gas. Oh, it's sleeping gas. Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> it may be more efficient to separate your finished products into zones of their own. Yes, they are right. I really should probably have this storage and stuff changed um, and have it so we have another storage area connected to that over this side. That's probably what we'll end up doing, but uh, not at this stage, because I think that's pretty much as far as I'd like to go. That is a little bit of the game. Hope you have uh, got the basics down, I guess. As I said, there's still a lot of mechanics that I have not uh, been introduced uh, to yet, and a lot of stuff I haven't got down, but... In terms of moment to moment, people like falling on the floor. Um, that's because of the factories expanding. So that's positive. That's positive. And that's really positive. So I don't know how they're managing to go and fall over. But there you go. I'm sure I'll uh, figure that out later on. Either way, um, we have made some stuff. We have expanded our factory. We have spent some cash. Uh, we are in the positive still, which is good. Obviously, we would have to put some more storage down. We've got a lot more machinery that we can have, like a bending machine and uh, uh, was that a circle saw? I call that's called a table saw. Got a bandsaw, lathe. It shows you the type of things it can do. So the bandsaw can do both straight cut and um, uh, the curved cut. These machines are much faster at doing whatever they uh, say they can do. The workstation stats, uh, as opposed to the base machinery. So the base machinery, this one here. These work at a lot, uh, I think it's like 75% less, uh, I think they're 75% less efficient or 75% slower than the other machinery. But they can do a multitude of things, whereas the other ones could only do a specific uh, a specific amount of uh, uh, jobs. So, for example, that one there, milling machine, it mills, uh, whereas they got the lathe only does, uh, you know, lathing. That one only does a couple of cuts there. That one does straight cuts only. That one does only bending. You get the idea. Um, and they're also very, very expensive as well. So, for example, that bandsaw, it's uh, six grand. Yeah. So, making the purchase will drain my funds below 50%. So, think about it. Yeah, we probably will have to. But I think what I'd probably do is expand. I'd get this job completed, which we are oh, nearly 50% of the way there. I'd expand around here and then have probably put a wall in and then have one dedicated room for woodwork, one dedicated room for probably probably um metal work or something but anyway there'll be a bit of a change up and you can see that we've got a big plot here that we can we can build loads more around there as well and you can unlock different plots around here as well not that i've done it i'm just aware of it in the tech tree either way i hope you have enjoyed this little uh let's say first impressions look at the game if you like what you see then by all means check the links out in the description thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>